Now, what a board that is. Look at that. The spotlight is on. Fullbacks. Five wonderful fullbacks and the all black fullback right in the middle. It's wrong. But, what do you mean it's wrong? You can't have you him can't. up there. He's, he's normally wearing black and he's in the 15 there. The, the middle is about Okay, uh, Mills, has this uh, first five playing fullback, fullback playing first five worked? Do you, Are you do still you on that? I don't think so. I think you specialise. You specialise in 10 and I think, I'm with you, JK, I think he's a 10. Bodie's a 10 and we look and we focus on the other four. He's been the best number 10 in the world for a couple of years. So why is he at fullback? Didn't hear you talking about it last year. It's a, it's a convenient now. I mean, let's be honest though, I'm talking about the wall, I'm talking about the fact Damien McKenzie, David Harvelli. You're talking about we've got North versus South coming up. We've got these guys going head to head. The sort of talent we're talking there, Bodie Barrett, Geordie Barrett, David Harvelli, JK, these are conversations. If you're Ian Foster, Grant Fox and a selection panel, you're looking at two va well, a number of vastly talented players. I mean, have we ever had that much depth in one single position? Oh, every year, Goldie. That's why we can let Bodie go, actually. Because I reckon the whole board up there are outstanding. And when you look at two of them, like we spoke, spoke about before, you know, Damien last year played 10 for half the season. So, I mean, and the younger guys coming through. I reckon, what, what I'd like to see of Jordy though, is I reckon he's outstanding at fullback. I think he's got height. I think he's got a long kick, which gives you two kickers on the field. I reckon he's our next 15. I, I love there his confidence go. in the position. I mean, you see some of these distribution skills. I mean, yes, we know his kicking, but he had a fantastic offload to help him score on the outside. I mean, the skill set's all there. Yeah. I mean, have you got a preference for him, Mills? I, I think it's nice when he's, he's that young. He's got a bit of freedom and, and uh, you know, skill set. He's been able to express himself. If he gets out there, get a bit more time with the ball in hand as well. And, and because he's so tall, it's good for the ball in the air. I, I, I reckon he'll end up in the midfield, Chris, and that's the skill set that he's got. I like the way he's, I like. Yeah, the, we're not but, short on midfielders either. No, no. I saw him for we're... Francis Douglas at twelve horse. Yeah. Oh, okay. What about Will Jordan? We're talking about a guy who's a Browcat player, Super Rugby, Aotearoa already. Look, number of seasons where he's just picked up a couple of niggles. Crusaders have got incredible depth, but I think Mills we're seeing a different player. Talented. this year. Yeah, very talented. I mean, and he's had a couple of injuries as well, so he's come back <laughs> well from him. But the thing is. Confidence again. What I love about uh, about all these players is that they create from from nothing. The meters that they've got, you know, 300 old plus over uh, Aotearoa, Super Rugby Aotearoa, but they're yeah. harder. So what we've done, yeah, JK? No, you know what, what I'm laughing done? though? Why? Why have you got two Crusaders? They can't even decide who's their best fullback. Yeah, well, David Harvey. Now here's the funny thing. If I had to put together a backline, I'd find it really hard not to put David Harvey in that backline. The fact that. The first part of Super Rugby this year, outstanding. And what I've seen since the comeback, think about the injury he had. So you're dropping Jordan. What's that? Am I dropping Will Jordan? I'm, I'm taking David Harvey, first and foremost. Here's the thing, you know what we do? We do it really well as we put a nice, talented fullback. We put him on the wing. That's what you can do with Will Jordan because you, you, you blood him that way. Did it with Ben Smith. You give them their opportunity, but for me, David Harvey. You can't right have now. that conversation Why here not? because because we're not oh, talking you about. You always winners. move people around. No, but we're not talking you about that. We're not talking about that now because like... who are you going to leave out on the wing? What's that? Who are you going to leave out on the That's wing? That's a different right now? conversation. I didn't go into that. Look, yeah, but so we, we've got to pick your fullback. That's what I'm saying, and I'm yeah. going Geordie. and I'm going David Harvey. I'll have to say Harvey in this situation as well. I, I think. Well, and he's done enough to be, to merit that. Well, we're going to see three of these guys. We're going to see three of these guys on the weekend, gentlemen. Will Jordan? Well, thought, who we, knows? Raise them, who could well, raise a pick? We don't know who's play, going to pick. So you played us in the Blues. Are we picking our North South fullbacks? That what you're telling no, me? No, we're not. We're not picking that. We're talking about the guys who are in form. I'm talking about oh. possible all-back fullbacks. I want you to talk about who's going to have the impact on the weekend and the big game because you're going down there. Your blue shoes are on, so you've got no doubts. But how are you going to win? We've got Bodie. Oh, another. you've got Bodie. That's it. <laughs> another, that's the whole thing. And for so another then, three so, months. Okay. So how does that mean for you? Oh, gee, I just I can't pick it. I honestly, I mean, I, I think home home yep. advantage is seven points. So it's it's going to have to be the Crusaders. Bernie, come in and tell us who's actually going to win this game, will you? Oh, I'm going to be impartial. I just oh, reckon, you're not. I reckon put Will Jordan um, propping because I reckon he can do anything. 